Hi, this is a quick demo of Table Explorer. Basically, rather than uh, trying to enumerate in words what it does, I thought I'd show a short video. So the primary utility is to go into a database and kind of uh, explore the, the relations between tables. In particular, this is suited to um, you know database that is too large to basically map uh, otherwise. And in particular, I have some databases at work that have over 500 tables. And if you try and render that, um, all 500 tables and their relations, uh, it becomes uh, too tiny for you to even move across the relations. So this is just something to allow you to more to move more exploratory across the database. So it's a fairly small closure project. So um, let me just run it here. So, so you simply run it by um, invoking the web server. And then once it's running, uh, you go over to a browser and so this is its, its sort of minimal um, user interface. So it's prompting for a JDBC connection and I have a, uh, a sample database that I put together here. And at the moment I have a um, database already, the sample database is supposed to be like a, a simple kind of storefront which has orders and customers and stuff so we'll take a look at that so I'll just put in an initial table as a starting place and then um, connect to the database and then what it shows me here now is um, the database schema and this is very similar to another open source project that's written in Go um, called um, Planter and Planter is um, using like I'm using here plant UML to do the actual rendering. So what the program really does is take the one table in the JDBC connection and then uses it to generate the um, the plant UML diagram. <clears throat> it, with one sort of exception that this is sort of just the diagram just showing the initial table that I asked for. And then it's showing it's two are uh, uh, you have the one foreign key relation that ha it has out and then the another relation that's coming into the table. And then on the on lines, I've, I've drawn what the names of the corresponding columns are on, on either side. And then this diagram has little plus signs here, um, so you can click and expand those. So let's, pre let's say that we wanted to know um, how does orders you know, relate to products, um, or we have a notion that they relate. So we'll go down here to order items and, and click on that to expand it. And then um, we don't really have a lot of control over the where the diagram is going to lay out. That's plant UML's deal. But um, so it can be a little disorienting when we add a new table in. But here we can see that orders relates up to order items and order items relates to products. And then what is a product definition? So we can expand that. And then we can see that the products, although it bounced over here, products has uh, an int and it has a name and the products have prices. So you can sort of like um, expand the relate or follow the relations through this graph. like. Let's just do this last uh, this last one here and see what customers are. So customers have a, uh, a integer is the primary key and they have a name. The fields that are required have the little dot on them. So that's what uh, what the um, the planter uh, program uh, did. And so I just followed that convention. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's a simple little utility for just kind of hopping into a schema and then having a look around. Actually, we can also go, um, if the, it is really small like this one, we could just do clear, go back to the beginning, choose the schema, um, choose an initial table, which is kind of arbitrary, but then we can choose all and it'll show all the tables in the schema. Of course, this only has four. Um, one nice thing though is this rendered image is SVG, so it will scale pretty ridiculous, pretty much um, as much as the browser will scale. So that's it. That's the um, the quick tour of Table Explorer. Ciao.